Too often, LGBTQ plus rights are placed in contention with religious freedom, particularly when it comes to marriage. You might be familiar with Supreme Court cases like the 2015 decision guaranteeing same-sex couples the rights to marry, or a cake baker from Colorado who, citing his faith, refused to make a wedding cake for a gay couple. Cases like these are seen as battlegrounds in a culture war between LGBTQ plus activists and religious conservatives. So they're the ones we hear the most about in this news or on social media. But today, I want to tell you about a time when these two groups were able to find common ground and work together for the benefit of all. In 2015, Utah passed legislation that's become known as the Utah Compromise. The bill, passed by a Republican majority and supported by both the LDS Church and pro-LGBTQ plus organizations, banned discrimination against lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people while protecting religious expression. The law created guidelines for what to do when our constitutional rights and deepest beliefs come into conflict, one example being gay marriage. Because of the Utah Compromise, in many counties across the state, when any couple, straight, gay, or otherwise, brings their marriage license to the clerk's office, it's taken in the back to be signed. That way, if the magistrate has a religious objection to the marriage, another official can complete the paperwork. And for the couple, their experience is no different than any other. No matter who you're more sympathetic towards, the First Amendment challenges us whenever possible to accommodate the beliefs of others, especially when we disagree. Because both the same-sex couple and the magistrate, like all of us, are equally guaranteed the right to live according to our deepest beliefs. Solutions like Utah's come down to finding a way to honor the inherent dignity in all of us. Couples and magistrates are able to walk away with what's most important to them while retaining their integrity. The Utah Compromise is not perfect, but it's an example of how groups on opposite sides of a divisive issue can protect and expand each other's rights, even when they seem to contradict.